Section 2.3, Set Operations and Cartesian Products. The intersection of sets A and B is the set of elements common to both A and B. The notation is A intersect B. The intersection symbol looks like an upside down U and it equals the set of X values such that X is an element of A and X is an element of B. X needs to be in both A and B to be in the intersection. We're going to let set A equal A, B, E, F and set B equal B, D, E, G, H. Then A intersect B equals the elements that are in both A and B. B and E are the elements that are in the intersection. The Venn diagram for the intersection of A intersect B, we've got our two circles. The elements in the intersection are B and E. Also in A are A and F. Also in B are D, G, and H. Find the intersection. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 intersected with 4, 6, 8, and 20. The elements in the intersection are 4 and 6. 9, 14, 25, 30 intersected with 10, 17, 19, 38, 52. There are no elements in common in those sets. The intersection is the empty set. 5, 9, 11 intersected with the empty set is the empty set. Sets with an empty intersection are disjoint. Venn diagram for disjoint sets A and B. They have an empty intersection. Sets A and B do not intersect at all. The union of sets A and B is the set of all elements belonging to either A or B. The notation is A union B. The union symbol looks like the letter U and it's the set of X values such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. We're going to let A equal the set A, B, E, F. B equals the set B, D, E, G, H. The union are all the elements that are in both. A, B, D, E, F, G, H. Venn diagram for A union B. Everything in set A and everything in set B is shaded. Find the union of the sets. 2, 4, 6 union with 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. The union is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. A, B, F, D, G, H, unioned with C, F, G, H, K. The union is A, B, C, D, F, G, H, K. 5, 9, 11. Unioned with the empty set, it's 5, 9, 11. Remember from previous notes that A prime represents the complement of set A. Set A primed, prime is formed by taking every element of the universal set U that is not in set A. We're going to let U equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. A equals 1, 2, 3, 4. 
B is the set 246. C is the set 1369. We're going to want to find A prime intersect B. So if, let's first write A prime, which is 5, 6, 9, the things in the union that aren't in A. And set B is 2, 4, 6. And we want the intersection of those two sets, which is just 6. B prime union C prime. First find B prime and C prime. B prime is 1, 3, 5, 9. C prime is 2, 4, 5. Unioning those sets, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. A intersect B union C prime. First, we need to look at B union C prime, 2, 4, 5, and 6. A intersect B union C prime, so look back to set A, 2, 4. Describe each set in words. A prime intersect B is the set of elements not in A, but in the universal set and in set B. B prime union C prime is all the elements not in B and not in C. De Morgan's Law says for any sets A and B, A intersect B prime is equal to A prime union B prime and a union B prime equals A prime intersect B prime. We're going to draw and compare the Venn diagrams for the two parts of De Morgan's law. So A intersect B prime, A intersect B is that image, just the things they have in common, but prime, so we want everything else everything but the intersection. A prime, shown here, everything but A. B prime, everything but B. And now union those things. Everything but the intersection. We're going to look at the second half of De Morgan's Law. A union B prime and A prime intersect B prime. Start with the image of A union B. It's everything. And then A union B prime is everything in the universal set that is not in A and B. Let's think about A prime, everything but A, B prime, everything but B, the intersection, intersection of those sets is everything in the universal set, not in A and B. The difference of sets A and B is the set of all elements belonging to set A and not to set B. The notation is A minus B. The Venn diagram for A minus B. Think about A and then take away the part that is in B. So take away the intersection. Let u equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. a equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
B equals 236, and C equals 357. A minus B. Take away the things from A that are in B. So we're going to take away the 2, the 3, and the 6. We're left with 1, 4, 5. B minus A. We're going to take set B and take out the elements that are in A. 2 is in A, 3 is in A, and 6 is in A. Our solution is the empty set. Note that A minus B does not equal a, B minus A. A minus B unioned with C prime. We already have A minus B from above, 1, 4, 5. C prime, 1, 2, 4, 6. We're going to union those sets. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. We'll finish up with the cardinal number formula. Remember, when we're finding the cardinality of a set, we are finding the number of elements in a set. For two sets, A and B, if the number of elements of A equals A and the number of elements of B equals B, then the number of elements in their union equals the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B minus the number of elements in the intersection. We need to take away those intersection values because they are being counted twice. Find the number of elements in A. If the number of the elements in the union is 22, the number of elements in the intersection is 8 and the number of elements in B is 12. We're going to substitute those values into the formula above. 22 equals the number of elements in A plus 12 minus 8. Number of elements in A equals 18.